so this is our house in Forney, Texas. I'm starting from the front. Um, this is a welcome sign that I created. Look, y'all gonna laugh at me. It was supposed to be welcome, but I couldn't fit everything on here. So we just did, hey y'all. I mean, hey, that's how you say hello, right? So um, this brings us into the front. Um, right here is our formal dining room. Before we go into there, I'm gonna show y'all the office. To the left here is office, has French doors. Now this is our office slash workout room. Got the treadmill here, got some weights over here, diplomas and all that on the wall. And this is where I work. This is where I do all of my work. Um, those of you don't know, I am juggling multiple um, positions right now. I'm not gonna get into all the detail just because of it, but yeah, your girl is, is doing a lot. So anyway, here is the formal dining room and I did decorate for Easter. This is about four days after Easter I'm recording this. And so yeah, I did something on the table here and um, have some curtains up and I bought some of the stuff over from our old house. These pictures are new in here. Um, and you'll be surprised, girl. I got these from the Goodwill. I am a bargain shopper. Have a um, chandelier here that I happened to lift it up because it was a little bit low. So yeah, this is just the entryway. This is gonna lead us to the master bedroom. This is the kitchen, okay? We have the granite countertops. We have the stainless steel appliances. And we have white, yes, white cabinets. Now, I'm not a big fan of white cabinets um, just because I'm so used to the dark, but it is what it is. I think later on, we will more than likely have them stained to match the bathroom is because the previous owner did stain the cabinets in the bathroom which I, I appreciate so anyway one thing we will do is go ahead and add some fixtures to these cabinets and they're pretty tall um let me just show you an example your girl is only five two so my hand, my hand goes here and so i need a ladder to get to the third and the fourth up there i don't know what is it about 10 yeah, that's about 10, about eight, eight feet up. Yeah, about eight feet up. And so, yeah, we have gas, which I absolutely love cooking on gas. And so I'll pull out to the back so you guys can see here. It's cute. It's very cute. It's smaller than our old kitchen, but I've gotten used to it. At first, we were going to remove this island. My husband called it the, um, <laughs> the cutting board. We had an idea to remove this and stretch out the kitchen this way, but we're okay. We're okay. We've gotten used to it. It is what it is. It's okay. I like it. I like it. Okay. Over here, we have some bar stools. Sometimes we eat over here um, real quick. I have a sofa table I got from Wayfair. Don't mind the box, girl. And then over here is another little area. Sorry, y'all. This is a real house. Look, we. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, we are wine drinkers. Got some wines over here. Some more cabinets. We have wine glasses that go all the way up. This is just house stuff over here. Just random house stuff in the other cabinets. I'm not going to open that up. This is the living room. Okay, we brought in our sectional look. It was a little difficult for me to figure out, for us to figure out how to, you know, arrange this sectional because I don't like when you come in, you see the back of the sectional, but really we have no other choice because of the fireplace here. Yeah, so, hey, it is what it is. So I just took a bunch of pictures that I had and just made a little wall collage over here. I'm going to get some more pictures so it can extend out towards this area here because I don't like it just stopping here. I want it to extend out a little bit more if that makes sense. A really nice workable fireplace that we have been using. Let me turn this TV down some. Um, and here is the fireplace. Everything you see on the fireplace I purchased from the Goodwill. And I got these curtains from Wayfair. I got these beautiful emerald green bar stool excuse me um footstools from wayfair and so yeah and this is just our tv and another picture hanging over here and this brings us to the hallway that goes to the guest's bedroom jb's bedroom and also to the guest bathroom 
This is the guest, one of the guest bedrooms. To, in my, don't mind this. JB has had this up. Ugh, we ain't gonna talk about this movie. We ain't gonna talk about Bruno either. So y'all have to excuse this. We have a new bed. I'm selling this. The buyer is coming to get our headboard on Sunday. But until then, this is one of the guest bedrooms or the guest bedroom, I should say. Um, just put some of the old pictures I have from my she room. When we were in Phoenix, I made our guest bedroom my woman cave. But since we have family here and we're going to be having guests, this is a true guest bedroom. So I wanted to make sure that it was clean of stuff and, you know, clear of any clutter. My mama has came down um, twice, actually. And so, yeah, when we have guests, it'll be clean. Like I said, this stuff will be gone because we are selling the headboard, thankfully. So yeah, this is just the guest bedroom. And this is the guest bathroom. Look, I have tried so many times to get these wrinkles out with a steamer and it's still, I think it just has to hang and I'll steam it some more. I got this from Wayfair too, the shower curtain. Um, you see, yeah, I'm pretty sure the um, cabinets were white and they stained they gel stained it which is okay which is i like this okay because it matches this granite perfectly excuse my nail stuff i have my nail stuff off just a little bit a little bit of decoration there i go there i go and that brings us to jb's room child hold on so this is jb's room J <laughs> i'm trying hard not to laugh jb's room is a millennial's dream um so we're going to start here with the door. He loves Good Burger, one of his favorite movies. We have some Nintendo. JB's room is very eclectic of everything he likes. We could spend hours in this room. Nintendo. We got um, some other stuff here. He loves Pac-Man. Um, some of his old school technology that he, oh, child, that he likes to collect. That's an Atari. We got Willie Nelson back there. You got uh, Marvin Gaye. Who is this child? Is that Pat Benatar? I don't know who that is. He has a bunch of bitch. As tapes, he created his own little Pac-Man thing. And yeah, this is this is my baby's room. This is how he like, oh, okay. This is his arcade. <laughs> Some picture he hung up. Uh, so yeah, this is his room and this is what he likes. You know, his two favorite artists are Marvin Gaye and kenny rogers so yeah his gaming stuff um this is his bed and he likes to put up you know he's he's a kid so the thing that trips me out is that I, with us being now here in texas a lot of my family is now giving him stuff so i'm like y'all come on so one of my family members gave him this um who is this freddie jackson and the whispers uh records and so he was like oh mama i, I love it we gotta hang it up so yeah this is jb room the goonies and yeah so this is what he liked so this is the pantry i'm not gonna open this up because it's dirty um i was hoping for a walk-in pantry finally but hey it is what it is it didn't happen this is our um laundry room just very basic we did get some new a new laundry uh, washer and dryer. I absolutely love that we have um, cabinets here that we could put stuff in. So yeah, just just very nice, very very nice. So so long. Let me turn off the light. This door leads to the garage here, and then this is our bedroom. Yeah. So we just got this new bed. Hence the um, the headboard in the guest bedroom, and then you. Guys, remember, these two end tables were the color of this Chester drawer. And I'll get close up on one of them so you can see what it looks like. I wanted to get as close as possible to the bed. And so what I did was go back and forth with antique white, brown, and gray to try and mimic the bed. And I think I did a pretty darn gone job. I did. It only cost me... $15 to do both. $15. That's it. And so, yeah, um, we have the sitting room over here. There's another picture here um, that my sister got for me. So this is the sitting area where my husband has his massage chair. I have some of my books, um, my planning stuff. I do like to, you know, decorate planners and all that. 
And I also just all of my little hobbies that I have, I put over here in this room. My gray table for my she room. This is basically half of my she room. Um, my gray makeup table. Um, and this behind is a picture that my husband hates that I do this. But every now and then, someone would give away free furniture or just free stuff. And I took this picture, child. Now, it is heavy. And I'm still trying to figure out where I can put it. But I'm going to need help. And she actually had two of them. I said, uh -uh, I'll just take one. I probably would end up putting it somewhere in a hallway. Um, but yeah, this is just what the sitting area looks like. When we were shown this house, they said that um, some people have even turned this area into a second bedroom. Um, or excuse me, in our case, it would be a fourth bedroom, but we, we don't find the need. We're, we're just three of us, okay? So this brings us to the master bath, okay? Same type of granite countertops. This reminds us, this right here, you guys, is very similar to our bathroom and phoenix it, it really is so we have the round type of tub here it's not jacuzzi but it is just a round tub um then we have the uh shower here with the detachable shower head this is the bathroom the wet room i'm gonna go ahead and close this okay okay brings us to our closet the closet is pretty spacious yes now it's not organized it just isn't uh i do have some of my shoes organized and my purse is organized but it is not organized normally you guys i do get ocd when it comes to my closet everything is color coordinated typically everything's color coordinated but i'm still organizing stuff look we just got here in january so i'm still organizing everything but i do like we have all of this space you see this all of this space all of this so yeah all right y'all so this is the backyard it's a little windy today child when is it not windy we went ahead and got just a simple patio set back here. Um, if, if, if you hear something, it's because it's very, very windy. I do apologize. So we are going to be getting a um, grill and all that. So yeah, this is pretty spacious. All of this goes all the way around here. You guys can see this. I'm sorry, y'all. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick tour. I will see you hopefully soon with some hair-related videos. Take care. Bye.